I decided to experiment it on my hair. And guys, the effect and the result I saw was fantabulous. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the flat iron I use on my hair. So if you know you are interested in this, then just keep on watching. And if you know you are interested in this type of content, ranging from hair care regimen, routines, tips, and so much more, including protective styling, make sure to join the family by hitting that lovely subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss another video and now without further ado let's get right into this video so in my last video i talked about the blow dryer i use for my hair so if you have not watched that video make sure to check it out and like i said in that video i was actually very very skeptical when it came to using heat on my hair initially i started using heat on my hair about two years ago and the reason why i took this much time before i finally started using heat for my hair was because of the many scary negative and dreadful reviews and opinions i heard from people you know most people will tell you heat is not good for your hair heat damages your hair heat leads to hair breakage but guys this depends on several factors okay first of all you can't expect to um not use a heat protectant on your hair then use heat styling tools on your hair and expect your hair to come out fine of course there will be breakage so when you don't do the right practices of course you expect to see a negative result or a negative effect so when it comes to using heat styling tools on your hair you have to make sure you carry out proper research you know and before i started using heat tools i made a lot of research i saw a lot of scary um, reviews and all that but the one thing you have to know is that your hair will tell you what is right for you and a hair journey is not a smooth process okay it is the result of different experimentations and trials different um positive and negative results and all that so you can't abandon a product just because it was not good for another individual so i decided to experiment it on my hair and guys the effect and the result i saw was fantabulous like ever since then i fell in love with heat styling tools i heard a lot of people say when they use heat styling tools on your hair it leads to hair breakage and it made their hair to get damaged but when I tried it on my hair guys, I actually noticed less damage on the contrary And my hair actually became more manageable with heat styling tools So guys, before you abandon a product or before you say a product is not good for your hair Make sure you try it on your hair first because your hair might have a different thing to sell to you about that product So make sure to test it on your hair before you finally conclude okay my hair does not like this so i can finally leave this product but after that guys i don't see why you should abandon a product or not try out a product because of negative reviews you will hear from other people okay and you know when i actually fell in love with this heat styling tools i was almost tempted to start using heat tools on my hair every month every two weeks but i know that would not be good for the health of my hair okay so i actually use heat styling suits only when i relax my hair that could range from anywhere between three months to six months so that's the only time i use heat styling tools on my hair and let me just point this out okay i always use a heat protectant whenever i want to use heat styling tools on my hair so if you want to use a heat styling tool on your hair and you don't use a heat protectant don't come back and tell me that heat styling tools damage your hair okay because you didn't do the right practices you didn't make sure everything was in order you didn't carry out all the research before you went and used heat styling tools on your hair so make sure you always carry out research before you use heat styling tools on your hair and like i said i've already i've already talked about my blow dryer in my last video so you can check it out so today in this video i'm going to talk about the flat iron i use and in my next video i'm going to talk about the heat protectant i usually use for my hair so make sure to subscribe so that 
when I upload a video, you'll be the first to get notified. And as a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. It's just my personal opinion on the use of this product. So guys, this is the flat iron I am currently using. The name is Nova. Nova hair straightener and i actually got this from jumia and it was not that expensive it was about five thousand naira if i am not mistaken in nigeria currency so it was not that expensive so you can actually get this from there as well and there are different types of um nova hair straightener there are even mini hair flat irons that you can take with you when you are traveling they also have mini blow dryers as well that you can take with you when you are traveling so it depends on what you want it depends on what you can afford just go online okay i actually got this from jumia so you can go on jumia and you see different type of hair straightener or blue dryers in case you are looking for one so this is the one i am currently using right now and i have not tried any other flat iron and like i said i was actually very skeptical at the beginning so I use hate styling tools on my hair because of so many negative reviews i've had you, it was actually easier using the blow dryer because that one will not come into direct contact with my hair it's far away you know i can take it far away from my hair and all that so i was actually very skeptical in using this okay i was scared but i just had to brave up and use it first of all i've already spent money am i going to waste the money and throw it away of course not and like i said no one will tell you what is good for your hair except your hair so i had to let my hair speak to me and tell me if it was okay with it okay so i just had to try it on my hair and i like i said i used a heat protectant on my hair before using this so that was when i went ahead and tried it out and like i said the result was fantabulous okay let me bring it out guys so that you can see it i usually keep it in here after every blow drying session Okay, so this is the product. Don't mind me, don't mind me. I know it may sound weird and funny to some, but yeah, guys, I usually put it back in the nylon before putting it back in the carton after I flat iron my hair. Yeah, guys, I still do that. Okay, anyway, let's let's ignore that. Okay, so this is the um a flat iron and it actually looks nice and I love the pink. Color, you know the number was actually um written on top but with repeated usage it actually kind of wiped off so right now you can't actually see any inscription on it but when it came with it it was actually inscribed on it this flat iron has a lot of features that i enjoy you know isn't it funny that me that was very scared of flat irons and stellitus because of the many reviews i heard about it I'm not the one to accept and then it comes to talking about heat styling too. Anyway, let, let's forget about that. Okay, so this flat iron has a lot of pictures that I love. First of all, you can lock and unlock it. And what I mean by that is that it has like a kind of, um, we like to switch now at this bottom part that you can pull and push. Okay, when you pull it like this, it unlocks. You see, it has gotten wider. Then when you want to lock it, you close it and you push it. And your flat iron is locked. So that is so when I want to use it, I unlock it. Then it opens and after I finish using it, I lock it and push the button up. And it stays locked. So other features it has is that you can actually regulate the heat of this flat iron. You know, I was actually very excited when I saw this on my when I saw this on the flat iron. At least I was saying, okay, okay. Even if I am going to try this on my hair, at least I have the opportunity to um start from a lower heat and gradually build it up. Uh, funny enough, guys, that was what I did. I started not at lowest though. I think I started at about 180 degrees, but now I use the highest whenever I want to flat iron which i think is 200 so and i use the highest when i want to flat iron and this is where you actually control the um temperature i don't know if you guys can see it this little button down here you just roll it forward roll it backwards to the um temperature you want it to be used on your hair so and it has another button which you can see right here and this is simply the on off switch so if you want to turn it on all you have to do is 
push this button this way and if you want to turn it off you push the button this way and that's basically it and another thing the cord can be rotated so any angle you want to use it at all on your hair from front from back from top from bottom you can actually rotate it and it gives you any angle you want plus the cord is actually um long not too long but it's actually of a considerable length so you see you can actually plug it far away and still use your flat iron from a distance so you see your hair styling tools don't have to be so expensive um, before they give you what you want depending on what you want though okay when, when i was researching about his styling tools and when i wanted to buy his styling tools um the first time i i went i was looking for the popular ones so what's it called again she I, I i can't really remember them but they were not really very popular on jumia because i used jumia to shop and the few ones i saw were so much expensive like i just had to run away okay because i know at that point in time i couldn't afford it so i just had to look for a way and um, to find something that was budget friendly and something that would serve its purpose and guys i don't regret this product okay and like i said it comes in different forms especially for nova i know nova have um, mini blow dryers and mini hair straighteners so you can actually choose and those ones are actually more affordable than this one so if you prefer that one you can actually go for those ones but i think those ones don't come with um a regulator i don't think they come with a heat regulator both for the blow dryer and for the flat iron i'm not so sure but i think so but you can carry out your research okay and um choose depending on what you want and depending on what your hair wants don't forget that that's basically it for this video guys the next my next video is going to be about the heat protectant i use on my hair so make sure to subscribe so that you will not miss out when i upload that video okay so that you'll be the first to get notified when that video is dropped on youtube thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell so that you can join the family Thank you so much and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!